Today we'll be taking a look at one of the scenarios inside Combat Mission Fortress Italy inside this uh, particular scenario. We are to conduct a deliberate assault made by paratroopers inside the early morning against a fortified casa or house held by German and Italian troops. Our objective is to simply seize the grounds of the house. The enemy has fortified the forested area around it. With that being said, I've decided to commence my assault by moving our forces to the flank of the enemy. I set up some MGs and mortars on this uh, stone hinge to cover our main advance. Normally with uh, such an operation it is usually best to start our assault by you, the use of heavy machine gun fire, mortar, and any means of long range suppression we have available to us. Inside this particular scenario uh, we are operating under the cover of darkness. I order my troops to advance very fast up the flank of the enemy. I simply want to get there as soon as possible. Listen up. As soon as our troops arrive at the assembly area, I want to start suppression fire onto the enemy's positions as soon as possible and then follow up with infantry on the flanks in a matter of two to five minutes. Our enemy seems to be fairly well dug in inside the forested area over here. His defenses include a trench network and a few wooden bunkers. It's a good thing our paratroopers have bazookas and C4 charges. Uh, I hope to be able to blow up these fixed emplacements if need be. Hopefully we will be able to avoid all of them. As soon as our airborne forces arrive, we start uh, suppression fire onto the forest. Put light forest with our MGs and our mortars onto the pillboxes and the trenches. Currently we do not know where the enemy is exactly apart from their fixed positions. Now that that's taken out of the way, we need to take a look at our infantry's main assault. Earlier you see in the picture of the map, an overview of the map, you'll notice that there is a railroad running through the, uh, the northern edge of the map and we will be using that ridge as a means of cover uh, for our assault forces. Enemy unit. In a few minutes the assault actually begins. You see here, uh, we have managed to penetrate the enemy's line of defenses uh, fairly easily I might add. Now we are sending troops into their their trench network in order to flush them out. Overall, fighting inside the trenches is fairly easy against the Italian infantry. Our main forces re resume uh, suppression fire as our assault force Contact. here Enemy units. moves throughout the trench. Bear in mind that our assault force is actually only four infantrymen armed with submachine guns, carbines, and a single bazooka. Inside this particular scenario, mortar teams may have little use. Uh, mortar teams inside this particular scenario don't fire fast enough to be able to pick up with the pace of the raid. So I've elected to just simply use them as infantry. I've got to say that bazooka makes very nice work of the bunkers. In fact, uh, most of the bunkers are actually neutralized by the end of the scenario by that one man. Our assault team comes under fire by enemies far off inside the trench network. Most of my forces here are positioned on the railroad providing supporting fire onto the main house. Now that we've flushed out the portion of the trenches closest to us, I feel like it is a good time to make a push into the fortified house and to move up rear elements to support the main assault here. 
I ordered a mortar team to advance as a assault team. Surprisingly, inside combat mission forces Italy, the pistols carried by tank crewmen, officers, and mortar men are surprisingly effective against infantry at very, very close ranges. They, they possibly might be better than um, submachine guns. I redirect my fire uh, to readjust for the fact that we've already cleared those trenches. At this point it looks like most of the infantry inside the fortified castle is actually uh, completely pinned down. So here I send my troops uh, into the house and into the trench network. It sounds like there's quite a lot of heavy fighting inside the trenches. As soon as our men are ready to assault the inner portions of the castle, I send them in. Our troops here inside the flanks are still busy working on blowing up all of these bunkers and advancing forward. Problem inside the trenches is that uh, the enemy managed to concentrate his lines and these smaller squads are no longer able to keep up the pressure. It looks like our house uh, assault went fairly well until this one moment. It looks like we managed to clear out two portions of the house, two thirds of the house, and um, at this very, at this moment, I decided to turn off these uh, supporting elements, seeing as how I figured out I figured that the uh, the enemy was uh, probably already eliminated. At that very moment, it looks like uh, the enemy forces had have retreated into the uh, farthest portion of the house and has um, begun to shoot at the, uh, the elements we send up. I decided that it would probably be in our best interest to flank the house from either the trenches or from the railroad. We need to put a lot more suppressing fire onto that house before we advance. In theory, trenches work both ways. We can use them to protect us against fire from the castle while continuing to clear them out. Since troops were immediately available right here, I've decided to continue clearing out the trenches while List giving us a good overview for the position. Enemy infantry ahead. Our attack stalled over here. We managed to capture a few prisoners, although uh, there are still considerable enemy forces on the other side. I noticed that we still have this MG here. If I bring this MG to the side and on to the railroad tracks again, I'll be able to get a very nice suppressing fire location. Inside the trenches, we resume moving forward with our infantry. My leg! Hopefully, we can grab this little bit of area and 
lock it down for the remainder of the mission. But sadly, it looks like our troops ran out of Imputus and is now cowered inside the trenches. I don't want to f frontally assault the house. If we frontally assault the house, it will be quite costly and it could very well cost us the majority of our company. The sun is coming up now, so the enemy will be able to get a much better uh, picture of our forces. We do lose the shock value of being able to conduct a night assault like this, uh, but the good thing is that the MG should be in place in just a few moments. As soon as the MG is in place, I order them to fire upon the building. At the moment, I concentrated the majority of my force onto the hill here. Now that the MG is ready, we can begin uh, preparations for an assault into the fortified house. I suspect most of the infantry inside the house are Italian troops who are easy to break in times of shock. So I'll, I, I decided to charge them with suppressive fire. My surprise, it seems like the house was filled with German troops, and in particular, it seemed to be troops of the Hermann Goring uh, battalion. Now that the, the fortified castle position is taken, uh, the house will be able to provide covering fire onto all portions of the trench network. Since we have technically taken all of our objectives, I didn't feel like it was uh, necessary to continue routing the enemies, so I've decided to uh, actually order the ceasefire from the menu and end the scenario prematurely. This is Pew Pew Choo Choo, and I hope you enjoyed the AAR. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more as always. I will see you guys next time.